to Mav Suns, we all know the history. It's NBA rivalry week, which they probably made up for this year. Firstly, and it's intriguing, but yeah, it's been yeah, pretty solid so far. But the most important news about this game, Luca. Luca got injured. He sprained his ankle. He, the X-rays were negative, which is a positive. Always remember that. And we'll have to wait and see how long he'll be out. How serious it is. I'm not gonna show you the video because I just, you know, I'm not, I'm not the type of dude to do that because it's just yeah it's just that but let's talk about the game the first quarter the Mavs despite losing look rallied Spencer Dinwiddie had 10 points in that first quarter here his his deep three-pointer like you see and otherwise it was you know, it was it really lost his juice with Luca out, but it was a solid defensive game. Chris Paul and Spencer Dinwiddie were both going at it, and Spencer Dinwiddie had 30 points in that first three quarters. Here on a step back three pointer to end the third quarter, he was spectacular tonight. He stepped up really big in you know Luca's absence in that fourth quarter. The match showed just 31.6 percent, but they hit five three pointers. Here is one of them by Dorian Finney-Smith. Spencer Dinwiddie here hits another step back for his 35 points, 95. 80 six nine point lead for the mass with 332 remaining they hit five three pointers out of their six made shots but the Suns rally, man. Chris Paul gets to the cup. 96-93, the Mavs. They get a stop on the other hand. Chris Paul, once again, just gets to the cup easily. 96-95, Mavs get a timeout. They foul Reggie Bullock, who is one of their best free throw shooters. He makes the first one, misses the second one, but Dwight Powell is on the rebound. And he gets fouled. He was spectacular. Makes both free throws and the Suns lose to the Lucas Mavs. And let's talk about the under 18 who had 19 and 20 on the night. And I mean, it, the numbers look good, but he was 6 of 20. He misses this bunny layup at, you know, all the you play. I don't, I don't know what his height is for, but he is just, you know, one of those dudes who you wish had a better motor, right? He just doesn't have enough motor in him, and he he is just who he is at this point. And I don't think he's going to get better because it's all about mentality with him, and it's hard to change your mentality. It's really hard, you know, through anything, and his mentality is just what he is right now we'll have to wait and see if he ever improves on it but so far it does not look like it and it was a rough night for him despite having 19 and 20 but you need him to dominate against Dwight Powell against you know against Davis Bertans and Dorian Finney-Smith and these small Dallas Mavericks especially when Luka even is not there I mean of course Luka is not gonna defend him but like you get my point and both teams shot really subpar like I said it was a solid defensive game but uh, yeah, it lost some of its juice due, due to Luca being injured, of course. Spencer didn't really spectacular. 36, 6 and 9, 10 of 18. What a game from him. Dwight Powell, 15, 4 and 3 blocks with those game winning free throws. He was clutch. He was 1 of 4 before that. Dorian finished me with 18, 12. He was really good. You got Reggie Bullock with 10 off the bench and one clutch free throw at least. So, yeah, the Mavs will, you know, have to wait and see how Luca is gonna be out, man. How long is Luca gonna be out for? because yeah without him it's gonna be really really rough but we'll have to wait and see because we just don't know enough information as of right now chris paul was really good for the suns 22 6 and 10 for him michael bridges at 16 points you got 22 from cameron johnson with five three pointers he was spectacular but they did not get anything from the bench the bench was absolutely atrocious ish wainwright was one of six josh okogi was all of six damien lee didn't even take a shot you got four points for bismarck biombo but otherwise it was just nothing a whole lot of nothing Nothing from the bench, so yeah, that was a rough one. David Booker should be reevaluated pretty soonish. I pretty think they said in a week or so. We'll have to wait and see on that also, but he should be back sooner than later. And, and a great win for the Lucas Mavericks, man.